After the sudden and seemingly random spike in channel popularity, I figure I should probably start making serious videos. I have had a lot of people ask how I can pull off stunts like in my previous video, the Vomit Comet. So here goes nothing. So, you want to be a stunt pilot? You desire blasting your way through an airlock at speeds and angles so intense it'll give your grandchildren inherited vertigo? Well, we better get started before Insla 070707 finds me and attempts to lay a copyright claim on this free and publicly available text-to-speech voice. Step 1. Choosing a ship. Your ship is your most valuable tool. Deciding on a stunt ship can be challenging. Be sure to choose a ship that best suits you as a player. Here's a hint. Don't attempt to do stunts in a ship that barely fits through the airlock while flying it normally. I mean, you can. And if you do, be sure to send me a video of it, so I can laugh as you clobber every little peasant ship out of your way while moving sideways at 348 meters per second, and gaining a station fine so large, it'll mass lock you. I recommend you choose a small ship. Something that can fit through the station airlock at any orientation and has either size 2 or 3 thrusters. This leaves you to decide between the Sidewinder, the Hauler, the Viper Mark III, the Eagle, the Imperial Eagle, the Imperial Courier, or the Adder. Don't get too attached. You will be blowing up this ship a lot. Accidents happen, and these ships are not exactly tanks. Good thing they are relatively cheap. Step 2. Outfitting. Once you have decided upon your ship, you will need to go to Professor Palin, or Felicity Farseer, and buy yourself some sweet enhanced performance thrusters. These thrusters have a multi-million credit price tag, and will cost way more than the actual ship. But you will need these thrusters, as they greatly boost the ship's performance. Additionally, you will need to buy the best power distributor your ship can fit, then get undersized and derated modules for everything else. This will help to lower the mass. You need shields. That is non-negotiable. I recommend 1C by Weaves or 2D Standard. These are the lightest shields you can get, and will keep you alive after most impacts. If you still feel overweight, try getting the smallest fuel tank and FSD your ship can fit. Let's be honest. You won't be crossing the galaxy in a ship built to push Mach 1.3. Step 3. Engineering. There are only three things you need to engineer. The thrusters the power distributor, and the stock lightweight bulkheads. On your enhanced performance thrusters, you will need to get grade 5 dirty drive tuning, and get drag drives as your experimental effect. On your power distributor, get grade 5 engine focused. If your distributor is unusually heavy, get stripped down as your experimental effect. On your bulkheads, make those grade 5 heavy duty. You want as much integrity as you can get, and applying this to zero ton lightweight bulkheads adds no extra mass to the ship, that last part is optional I guess. If you feel lucky, you won't need any extra armor. However, don't come crying to me when the slightest hit sends you to the rebuy screen. Once you are happy with your speed, which should be well over 700 or 800 meters per second at this point, we are ready to begin the stunt lessons. Fly your ship for a while in an asteroid field to get used to the handling. It will feel unlike anything you have ever flown before, so it will take some getting used to. You're going to have to learn how flight assist off works, if you do not already. Essentially, it turns off the ship's inertia dampeners, so you continue flying in whichever direction you were when you first shut them off, so long as your throttle is set to zero and you let the ship freely drift. It is vitally important to remember to zero your throttle. If you do not, the path your ship is drifting will change. While stunting FA off, you should only be using the stick, and not the throttle. Now, keep this knowledge in mind. You see the airlock up ahead? Do you notice how I am lined up perfectly with it? The dot is in the dead center aligned with the rear of the station. This is our flight path. It is recommended that you request docking first, so the station does not get angry with you for penetrating them without warning. We will now perform the simplest stunt, entering the station backwards. This will happen fast, so focus. 
ensure your path is clear, then boost toward that airlock. Midway there, turn off flight assist, set your throttle to zero, and pitch the ship around so you can see your engine trail. Roll the ship for style if you so wish. Once inside, don't wait too long to boost again, or you will hit the back wall. Be sure to turn flight assist back on to make it easier to line up for a safe exit. Congratulations. That's about it. Believe it or not, if you can master that move, you are more than capable of doing any other stunt. Including, but not limited to, the double backflip. The station love tap. The corkscrew. The negative ghost rider the pattern is full. And the Takumi, Eurobeat not included. Keep in mind, you are not flying a combat ship. Impacts will likely remove your shields and quite a bit of your armor. You just need to learn how to avoid impacts. If you find yourself drifting close to station docking pads and other buildings, use your lateral thrusters to maneuver the ship's path and aim for the center of the station. Note that your boost also affects the power of lateral thrusters. If you boost and hold the up button, the ship will fly both forward and up with great force. Handy for escapes. Watch for other traffic. It may be fun to bus close to them, but trust me. Beluga liner winglets have cost me about 5 million in rebuys. Type 9s are downright deadly. Now, go out there and show the Pilots Federation what you're made of. Or just litter a starport with debris. Whichever you choose to do. I don't care. Get a friend and fly in a wing. Fly at CG stations to show off. If you chose the adder, invite some poor unsuspecting victim aboard and scare them shitless. You don't need billions of credits to have some harmless fun in Elite Dangerous. Well, the word harmless is dependent on your skill. You know what I mean leave me alone. This tutorial brought to you by Commander Crimson Gamer 99 self-taught stunt pilot and arranged ass hat with a flight stick. Thanks for watching.